I wanted to walk you through one of my latest products, which is really useful for a lot of people. You know, we're experiencing a whole bunch of uncertainty in the world today. So it's time for everybody to get up off the couch, <sighs> quit binge watching TV, and at least for a few minutes, and write down your goals. And writing goals and keeping track of your progress and journaling is one of the best things you can do for, for yourself and your friends and your family and your life. Because once you start to focus on your goals, you can actually make progress. And sometimes I tell people if you don't have a plan and you don't have a roadmap, you haven't written anything down and you're not sure where you're going or what you're going to do, then how are you ever going to get there? And then who are you going to blame for your failures, for not succeeding? Um, the only person you'll have at that point in time to blame is going to be yourself. So let's talk about a goal journal. What is most important to you and what do you want to accomplish with your life? What do you want to be known for? And how could you use your gifts to make the world a better place? That's what I'm asking you all. That's what I'm asking you to write down in your gold journal. Oh, and by the way, the, this gold journal uh, will be available as a PDF uh, document uh, that you can also print uh, in my Etsy shop. But in the meantime, I'm giving you just some food for thought, some things that you could do. Even if you just want to start your own journal, do something. Go to the store or grab some paper and a pen and just start writing out and planning out your goals. Goals can be a compass. It provides you with direction on where you want to be, no matter where you start. When you see your goals, they will guide your daily actions because the end result you're working towards provides a purpose for what you do on a daily basis. Um, this My goal journal is designed to open your mind to new opportunities and help you to discover new plans that bring you even greater joy, peace, and happiness in your life. But goals require commitment. And now, even when we talk about commitment, Life gets in the way sometimes, so yeah, you could get busy, so you might have to stop and start and come back to it later. But if you commit to it for a good period of time each day and over the next course of the next few weeks or months, you should see some progress. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you, oh yeah, this is going to change your life totally. You know, you're going to make a million dollars, blah, 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 blah. No. But... It's a start. One of the things I have found in my own personal life is that by writing things down and then checking back in with yourself in a written format, in a written journal, it really gives you, you greater focus and clarity. At least it has for me. So little goals, if you think little goals and expect little achievements or think big goals and win big success, you know, you got to think about what it is you want to do. Um, and one of the things I, I, I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole entire gold journal in this video because this is really just like a little intro to it. And remember, you can get the, uh, the, uh, entire journal, uh, for, uh, in my Etsy store. It's on sale in my Etsy store. Um, but we're going to sit here for a minute and we're going to talk about this. What is one big thing you would like to accomplish in your life? Describe it in detail and why is it important to you? I'm telling you all. This one sentence, this one topic, if you can write about this, that's half the battle right there. Because human beings need purpose. Uh, we have to have a reason to get up in the morning and go do something. Human beings that just sit around and have no purpose, no plan, you know, you, you won't get very far. I mean, unless you're like born really wealthy we're really lucky, but you got to have a purpose and you got to have a plan and you got to put it in writing. <laughs> when you put stuff in writing, it can lead you to what they call, you know, action items to reality. And if you think about it, everything that exists in front of you, your computer, your cell phone, that had to be an idea in someone's mind. And then 
they wrote it down or they drew out a sketch. So then they worked on it and worked on it a little bit, maybe a little bit each day, maybe with a big group, maybe just all by themselves. But by writing it down, putting it to paper, it's a start. It helps you make your reality more concrete. Help, I don't want to say help makes your dreams come true because that's just like kind of a, a cliche kind of thing. But if you get started on this and you give it a try, you know, that's half the battle right there. And right now you're seeing the printable copy of the journal, the gold journal. And the printable copy, there's lines on there on the page so you can handwrite it. But when you purchase this in my this digital download in my Etsy store, you also get the blank version which you can type in on your computer so you could just leave it on your computer desktop or in a folder um and then you can just type into it so this book is about like 40 something pages and i'm going to go through another one. Oh, this is cool a little hard to do right now but it's 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 never too early to start planning what are like five places you think you'd want to visit and why and what needs to be in place to make this happen? Um, for example, I would love to go to uh, the beach. And why to the beach? It, and, you know, to me, it's almost like any beach. <laughs> you know, I love the ocean. I love the sand. Um, and it makes me happy. Okay, so going to the beach is one for me. Um... I would like to go someplace where there's snow because I've never seen a whole bunch of snow. But if I go someplace where there's a lot of snow, I don't want to, um, I don't want to stay real long because I'm not, I don't really like the cold that much. But that's a personal thing. Maybe I know there's other people out there, you know, you like to ski and do all those kind of uh, snowy things. But, you know, I'm good. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> um, Let me see. Can't quite. Well, I can't. Well, this is why you have a journal, because I could only think of two places, beach and um, some place where there's snow, some place like Alaska or Canada. I mean, I want I would love to just see like a whole bunch of snow and icebergs and all that stuff. Ooh, Greenland might be cool, too. Um, oh, of course, would love to go to Africa and see that. And actually, OK, yeah, I would love to see the Eiffel Tower in Paris because I mean it's pretty cool oh and I would definitely love to see the pyramids so I might have listed more than five but you know oh well <laughs> um now what needs to be in place to make this happen for me if this is my dream and my goal one of the things would have to do is I'd be able to have to uh you know have the flexible time to be able to do it you know if you're working a real job then maybe each year you could use your two weeks of vacation to go to these places, but if you list out the pl five places that you would want to vis visit, and then what's it going to take to make it happen, then you know you're going to need time, you know you're going to need money. If you have kids or pets, then are you taking the children with you? If you have pets, are you taking the pets with you? Or are you leaving them with, you know, in the trusted care of somebody else? You can't just run off around the globe and uh, just leave your kids and or pets unattended. That's not cool. That'll get you in trouble. Um, okay, we're going to go through one more, and I hope that helped you out a little bit. Oh, this is actually one of my favorite ones. And I had to think long and hard about mine, but anyway, I'm not going to share with you mine, but I'm going to leave you with this one as food for thought. What are your core values? Do you know what values are? If not, you're going to need to look them up. Um, I don't have enough time in this particular uh, video to go through all of that. But you know what? I might do it in a future video. As a matter of fact, I think I will. So what are your core values? Are your current goals, goals in alignment with your values? And if not, what can you change to better support your values? Now, I could do a whole video topic for pff, hours at end because, you know, uh, I could because values we can talk about for quite a bit but let me just go back through and remind you what we're doing here um, helping you showing with showing you and sharing with you my gold journal 
And this product, you can get it online in my Etsy store. You can download it immediately. If you have any problems, questions, or concerns downloading or whatnot, you can just reach out and email me. So, thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. Be safe, be well, and keep moving forward. Thank you. Bye.